I'm Chris Hassel, joined by quite the threesome. Brian McFadden, Brady Quinn, Pete Prisco. We're going to do props in just a second, but we're all jealous of BMAC right now. One, yeah. because... He's in a T-shirt sweater, and we're all we all got long sleeves <laughs> I, on. It's, it's hot. a sweater, though. It's, it's got to still be hot, right? Is, yeah, it is. And he's wearing shorts. He, he forgot. He didn't get the memo about jackets this week, did you? Well, I mean, me and Brady, we after Dude, that, I, I had a jacket. He found on. a way to improvise. It, it okay. might be historic. But his is at least a button-down shirt. You wore your <laughs> number a, one T-shirt out. This is not a T-shirt. This is Italian. It's mid-February, and we're complaining about the sweater. It's Marino. Come on, okay. But two, the other thing we're jealous of is. This is the two-time Super Bowl champion, right. and he's got his ring out yeah. today. How do you decide which one you're going to wear? Then? I decided to bring the second one because the second one actually looks better than the first one, but the first oh, one wow. means more to me because I couldn't get the second one without the first one. Well, Pete, Brady, and I all have our <laughs> wedding rings on. True. Yeah, right. <laughs> so that's all we have. Little, or first one might be a little jealous, though. Yeah, Let's no get question. into the picks, guys, and we're doing picks and props here. Let's start with uh, an obscure one that a lot of us will bet to start this game just after the national anthem we've got the coin toss and it's 50 50 plus 100 for both heads and tails brady tails never fails yeah we had the saying uh back in the 2011 year in denver when we kind of run on a run there with, with your guy tim tebow oh. we'd go out and we always say tails never fails mm-hmm. so go with heads and we won a ton of to- coin tosses we defer because we wanted to put yep. our defense out there first which was our best unit and then you know be able to try to get the football off at half control the game so i'm going with heads because tails never fails, which doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, for me, I, I think I'm going heads as well. I mean, pick pick your poison in yeah. this situation. But it's sentimental for me because as a young lad, when I used to be in elementary school and I would be in the bathroom, you know, hustling some <laughs> coins, and we used to play the flip game, heads were always the, t- uh, the, the, the side that my coin would land on. So I'm going back to my third grade days, and I'm taking heads. <laughs> Did you win any money, b Yes, I won a lot. Well, I, I won awesome a lot of- By the way, if Tim Tebow was my quarterback, I'd, I'd hope I never had to put my offense on the field. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I go with tails. I, I've always picked tails, and uh, over the years, it's uh, won a lot of money for me in certain situations. Okay. Tails. Regardless of, of who, really what they pick. It depends on who wins. Who's won the last seven Super Bowls has deferred, mm-hmm. and that team's lost. Hmm. Wow. So I don't know if you want to win the coin toss. Brady. I don't know if you want to win the coin toss. Yeah, last Good seven point. teams that have won the coin toss have, have lost the game. By the way, wow. all-time tails, 29, heads, 26. Ooh. Let's go to another 50, 50. prop. First scoring play. Pete? Field goal by the Cincinnati Bengals. I think they're going to get off to a decent start, but they're not going to get into, they're going to get into the red zone and bog down, so I'm going to take a field goal. I'm going to go with the Rams scoring a touchdown. Yes. You know, they're playing at home. They're yes. well-rested, uh, familiar with the surroundings. I think mm-hmm. they'll get off to a faster start. We saw a slow start, too, from Cincinnati going back to that AFC championship game. So maybe that Wait, factors in here. They're more rested than the Bengals are. What, the Rams? Yeah. I, I'm, they're playing at home. Those, those are not rest. <laughs> okay. I mean, no travel. <laughs> yeah, Pete, grow up and no act travel. like an adult. It's my turn, okay? It's my turn. He's only I'm, 62. Yes, act like an adult, please, for God's sake. I'm right with Brady. I really believe the rhythm will already be established for the Rams. You talk about understanding the situation playing in their home stadium. That, that means something, you know what I mean? Understanding the fields and things like that. And I just love how the chemistry is there for this offense, you know what I mean? They, they're doing some pretty good things. So I think the energy they will have backing them will lead to them scoring a touchdown first. All right, Rams touchdown. How about the first Rams reception, BMAC? I got a tricky one. Plus 700. When you Ooh. look at the odds, Cam oh. Akers. Okay. I'm taking Cam Akers because I wouldn't be surprised to see the very first play screenplay. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just get an easy throw for Matthew Stafford. Brady, you play quarterback. You yeah. know how important that is just to kind of get the rhythm going for your quarterback fast. T- easy check down, screen pass to the running back. Give me plus 700, Cam Akers. Yeah, to your point, they've relied on him a lot in the running game, and he might be one of their better offensive weapons and players. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense because they've kind of protected Stafford a bit, helping him with the running game. Maybe they get his confidence built up early. I'm going to go with Odell Beckham because mm-hmm. that's another guy that I think you want to get started early in the game. And, and obviously, Cooper Cup's the favorite. Not as much value there. A little more value with Odell Beckham, but I I think everyone knows they're going to try to go to Cup often in this game. It's Beckham who gets the first catch and gets this thing going. You copy my paper again. I have the exact <laughs> well, I same speak pick. Before you, so yeah. Well, Odell hour. Beckham first yeah. first reception because I think they're going to do everything possibly can to take away Cooper Cup, and I think Beckham's going to be the guy that feasts off that. So I'll go Beckham as well. We're going to get to a Cooper Cup prop in just a second, but let's go last team to score in the first half. BMAC? the Rams. 
I, I believe this offense, they will have a lot of success against the Cincinnati Bengals defense. Not a stout group, especially having Cam Akers. Now they have a sense of balance. I think the Rams will find a way to score right before halftime, and we know how important that touchdown is before you get into the locker room. So I go with the Rams. I think the Rams are going to score before halftime, but then it will be preceded by the Bengals kicking a field goal mm-hmm. right before we go into half. So I've got Cincinnati minus 110 to be the last team scoring the first half. And I agree with you again. I'm with you. I think the Bengals will be the last team to score as we go to the locker room and kind of continues what I think will be a high-scoring game. Pete, that first half line, Rams minus three, and the total is 23 and a half. What do you like for first half lines? I, I like the Bengals in the game. I'm going to take them in the first half. I like the Bengals to and, and the Rams to both go over, and I'll take it over in the first half. I think this is going to be an offensive shootout. I do think the game will hit the over. I don't know about a shootout. I'm not sure what you pick for your final score. Yeah. I think it's – look, first-half unders have been great this year in the NFL. Yeah. I'm picking a first-half under here, and I'm actually on the side of the Rams at giving three points. I think at worst maybe you push there if they're not ahead a little bit more than that. And I think we see the Bengals make a second-half, fourth-quarter run like we've seen them do. Well, for me, I just love the total in the first half, and I'm taking the under, and here's why. Historically speaking, when you look at Super Bowls in the first half, we've oftentimes seen both teams get off to a slow slow start. That has been the heavy trend in the more what, last five, ten plus years when you look at the unders hitting more than the overs in the Super Bowl's first half. So I take the under in the first the half. The last time Rams were in it, it was the lowest scoring Super Bowl of all time. How about what happens first here? I'm going to go with you, Pete. Joe Burrow, touchdown, which has a lot of juice, minus 240. Or interception, which you get plus money, two to one. I'm going to go with the juice. So I'm going to lay the touchdown. I think he's going to throw a touchdown before he throws an interception. I think he's going to play well in this game. The guy's calm and cool, and uh, everybody sees it in the post in the postseason. I think we'll see it here. So I'm going to go with a touchdown before an interception. I'm with you. I, I don't think he throws interception in the game. I think one of the things we've seen about Joe Burrow, he's a good decision maker, and, and he's willing to take a sack and not force the football into something if it's not there. And so I think that kind of plays to maybe a conservative nature some may may feel, but it also gives them the opportunity to punt, play that field position battle, and it doesn't hurt you and give the football away to a defense uh, and put your defense in a tough spot. I'm going with the heavy juice, plus 200. I think an interception will happen first. And it's not based on Joe just making a bad decision with the football. I think his offensive line, which has been the Achilles heel for their offense the entire season, will have some issues in protecting him. And I can easily see a deflected pass landing in the hands of a guy by the name of Jalen Ramsey providing the first. God, all Florida State all the time, well, huh? I mean, that can happen, right? What did I say? They, they got some impact Cam players. Cam Jalen Ramsey. Impact players. Is, is he not else? an impact player? No, he, he is. Okay. He is. Interception first. all Florida State all the time. All right, let's get to that Cooper <laughs> Cup prop now, and it's a target prop yeah. over under 11 and a half targets, and you get better value on the over at plus 100. He had 14 targets last game, Brady. What do you like? I'm going to go with the over. I think it's in part because he's a key cog to their offense. They know that. Cincinnati knows that. They're going to try to take him away. McVay's as good as anyone at making adjustments no in question. game, trying to figure out ways of getting him open. Even for his bracket coverage, they understand conceptually how to get him open with those routes. So a little extra juice there at plus 100, but I think that he's going to go over that number. I'm going to go under. Uh, I think Mike Hilton factor is huge in this game. He's a great nickel huge corner. Huge or huge? Huge. Okay. He's a great nickel corner. He's a great nickel <laughs> corner. And when he played him in 2019 when he was with the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know how many catches Cup had in that game? None. He's going to have catches, but he's not going to go over that number. I mean, Pete, targets. that was, what, three years ago? targets, by the way. Uh, two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. I mean, I'm with Brady. Cup is going to get his targets. This offense, is they're at their best when he's getting targeted, and that's something that will continue to uh, A lot showcase. of targets, fellas. Yeah, so he just – Chris just gave us a cool nugget. He had, what, 14? 14 last game, NFC yes. Championship game, but he didn't get to that 11-and-a-half number in, in any of his previous playoff games. Well, I'm taking the juice. Look at the regular season. Yes. He's got a lot of targets. Yeah, yeah no question. There's no question. The last a, four games combined, before last game, he was under 11 and a half targets. I'm taking plus 100. Okay. Over. Let's move to the defensive side of the yep. ball and sack props. Aaron Donald sack. Yes, minus 190. Juice there. No, plus 160, B-Mac. Yes, yes, yes. Joe Burrow was the most sacked quarterback in the National Football League in the regular season, and probably the same could be said in the postseason. Aaron Donald is the ultimate disruptor. Yes, sack. Jackson Carbon, Adeneji, whoever's at right guard, you know, we've talked about this. That could be a spot, really, in the entire you know, <laughs> interior of the offensive line. It's going to be a problem. The safer bet to me is, is yes. 
Chris Jones didn't have a sack last week, did he? Oh, Pete. When he played him in Kansas your City. Bias with all no, the I'm going to go. I, I, look, I would double him on every single play, which means I think Von Miller will have a good day, but I would double this guy every single he gets play. He doubled all I the time. I don't care. Everything is going in his direction. He, he is not beating me, so no, he doesn't uh, get a sack. What? No. Benny he, Public says there's a better chance no. Trey Hendrickson gets a sack in this game because his number, yes, minus 150. Pete, Trey Hendrickson get a sack. Trey Hendrickson will get a sack. Uh, look, Andrew Whitworth has been a good player for a long time. He hasn't been as good this year. I love Andrew Whitworth, and I think Hendrickson, Hendrickson will beat him one time for a sack. He's 40 years old. I mean, he's the oldest player in the NFL right now. Currently, well, You get Tom better Ritter with age. I'm, a, I'm proof of that. <laughs> no, there you go. So does Andrew Whitworth. I, I don't think Trey Hendrickson gets a sack because he's really, outside of DJ Reader, he's the one that you've got to focus on the most. Sam Hubbard's pitched in as well, but yeah. I, I just think that matchup isn't as favorable for him. I, I think Whitworth's done a tremendous job. And played as well this year. Well, yeah. he looks a lot better than the rest of the offensive linemen for the Rams. I'll go yes. I I think he will get a sack. I love his energy. I mean, Trey plays with relentless energy for four quarters. And it's not just about winning the one-on-one battles. The way they uh, scheme him up to be able to be a disruptor, you know, running different stunts. So I think yes. I say yes. All right. How about the last team to score in the game? And, Brady, you can look at this one of two ways, where last team to score, maybe that's a game-winning score. Or maybe one team is up big and it's a garbage touchdown at the end. No, I think it will be a close game. And and I do think there will be a last score to win it. And and I think it's going to mimic a lot of how the New England Patriots got started with Adam Vinatieri kicking a field goal to win it versus the Rams. So I'm picking Cincinnati here. Um, Again, juice is pretty much even either way. But I think it's going to be one of those close games where we see a a last, you know, second kick by McPherson to win it. I'm with you. It's exactly how I I played it out in my picks. I picked the 31-30 late field goal by McPherson to win it. Yeah, I love it. I can't wait to see both quarterbacks throw it around in this game. So I'll take 31-30 late field goal by McPherson. BMAC, you picked the exact same thing. Since it is lock unity. Yeah. I, I think Cincinnati, they will score last because they're going to be chasing. They're going to be chasing. And so with that being so you're said. You're saying garbage time. Chasing a Super Bowl ring, you mean? No, no, oh. chasing the scoreboard to try to. Oh, I like the confetti. Yeah, it's lock yeah, unity, lock but, unity. But, but you see it going down differently. I, no, uh, he's talking about garbage score. touchdown. Yeah, yes. yeah. So or, to or a field goal. Or, or it can well, why would they goal. kick a field goal if it's garbage time? I mean, he's trying to chase. <laughs> well, to get Chris into a one possession to game yeah, okay. and then try to Chris kick Chris is the point guard. You're not the point guard, <laughs> Pete, all right? He's the boss. That's what he is. All right. How about the game? The Rams now favored by four. It, it was four and a half for yes. a while and now four at most books. And the over-under is 48 and a half. Brady, you can go first. Yeah, I'm going to uh, go ahead and take the points on Cincinnati here. And, and we've talked about it. I think they went outright. Um, mm. They're just that team that is car. Carson Palmer said earlier today, kind of magical. They have, they have something about the way they play, the way things have bounced their way this year. Uh, I think Joe Burrow at the end of the day gets it done. Uh, I also think, not necessarily a high, as high of a scoring game as Pete pointed out, I do think it, it comfortably hits the over. Yeah, I'm going with both the over and the Bengals, and I'm with you. I think they win the game outright. There's always a charm team. They're charmed. They're going to make it uh, late with the late field goal. They're going to win the Super Bowl. I'm the lone wolf. <laughs> Did I, my wolf sound pretty good? I thought that was good. an underdog yeah, howl. I did too. Yeah. No, rough, rough, rough. It could have been either. Yes, we could I, back I had my it. daughter wolf ears from Great Wolf Lodge. <laughs> but uh, I'm taking the Rams. I, I, I really love everything the Rams have to offer in this ball game on both sides of the football. I don't expect to see the offensive line from Cincinnati just play better. They, they've been a bad team, and we got to trust that they have been a bad team and they will be bad again Sunday. And just Matthew Stafford. I think this is a game for Matthew Stafford to really show why they brought him here to outplay uh, Joe Burrow and why that would lead to them covering this four points. So Matthew Stafford is the favorite to win MVP because he's the quarterback yep. on the favored team. BMAC, are you going with him as your MVP? Yeah, I'm going chalk. If I believe the Rams will win this right, ball game. Right. It's only, it only makes sense to take right. the quarterback. It's basically the quarterback I, award. You know, it's funny, though. I think he has more competition uh, when you look at, you know, Cooper Cup. He could have a catch like Santonio Holmes, for example, right? Mm, That's yep. how he ends up winning the Super Bowl MVP. It no could question. be Cooper Cup with a big game. Maybe that happens. Or Odell Beckham. Uh, Donald, I mean, what if he has three sacks, you know, no versus question. this offensive line? I think Stafford could have some more competition. I think the key is, as long as he doesn't throw two interceptions. No he throws one, I think he can still get away with it and winning it. He throws two, ah! Uh, I don't know. Um, I've got Joe Burrow, though. I think the Bengals win. He's the quarterback. It's mm-hmm. a quarterback award. And outside of Jamar Chase, Pete, I mean, who else would you like on the Bengals to win if he doesn't? No, sense. it's Joe Burrow. He's going to yeah. win the. He's going to win the game. He's going to win the MVP, and he's going to walk out. and He's going to grab that stogie and smoke like crazy. He'll That's be the first ever, right, to do yeah. it. And he MVP, said he only brings a cigar. Super Bowl number right. one pick. Yeah. Heisman national yeah. championship. We've never seen that before. Yeah. Guys, just cool as can be. Yeah. Pete, it's good to see you're finally on the Bengal bandwagon after yeah, against it's them. It's taken me a long time long. in my lifetime to get on that Bengal bandwagon. You know bandwagon. what? That's a bad sign, too. I'm sorry, Cincinnati fans. <laughs> if he is picking your team, he hasn't picked them all 
postseason, you need to be nervous and blame Pete. That is true. Pete yeah. Brady, BMAC, with the picks and props here on CBS Sports HQ. Our coverage from Los Angeles continues all throughout today and the rest of the week as we go live all week long, presented by Capital One. CBS Sports HQ for the win. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.